We saw the destruction on the TV yesterday. We, we wanted to do something because that's what Baltimoreans do. And it's because we know that place. It was near the plaza. And that plaza was built because we expanded our transit system back in the 80s. We went to Stewart's and Hex, cashed our winnings at the lottery headquarters that was out there on Reisterstown Road. And that's why one woman took it upon her own to go out there and help. And WMAR 2 News' Don Harrison has her helping story. This devastating explosion brought emergency personnel from all across the region to help out. People in the community wanted to help out as well. And in true Baltimore fashion, they showed up. Baltimore my whole life, as you see. She's from Baltimore. <laughs> when Rueda Amin saw the explosion yesterday, visions of 9-11 came back to her. As a 14-year-old, she wanted to do something for the people in New York, but felt helpless. Do what you got to do. I couldn't make it to New York for that, but I'm right here in Baltimore, literally in my zip code. So I had to come out. She called her boss right away and said, I have to come here and help. She was fine. She said, we're one Baltimore, we're together. Get to work when you get to work. It's fine. Yes, you can have one. Definitely. You need something? Amim spent all day and into the night here after the explosion. It's heartwarming. I actually cried maybe about four times last night, you know, between last night and hearing the stories. And I talked to the guy whose house it actually was. And um, he was saying how distraught he was. Um, I talked to someone who lived two doors down from where the explosion was. She came and literally had nothing. Going to a hotel, I helped her to her car. So it's just basically being a good Samaritan. I'm not with any particular group, I'm just here. We care about one another and we help one another out. Teresa Pankey told her grandson to get off the video games to help out. School may not be in session, but Pankey had some lessons to share. And I want him to learn that he's supposed to take care of his city no matter what and help out. It makes me feel good because I get to help people that, that needs help because they don't have a home. Everything about my city I love. And that's why I've been here for, what am I, 31? 31 years of my life just has been here and I refuse to move. The Red Cross and other organizations set up alongside of Amin, and she tells me she'll be here as long as there's a need. In Northwest Baltimore, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.